I've never had great hair my entire life. Like even as a little kid, it was always like noticeably like receded. Yeah. Um, so I just kind of grew up with a really kind of weird hairline already. So I just thought it was normal. Um, and around 14, 15 years old, going into high school, um, I would like be in the shower and I noticed like a lot more would kind of be falling out or there'd be a lot more in the sink. And I'd be like, whoa, that's kind of weird. Um, and so I think as soon as I started noticing it, it, that's when other people picked up on it too, you know? Um, so the first chance I got, I would just spend every dollar I had on supplements, vitamins, shampoos, everything I can get. Um, and I think, um, it slowed it down a little bit. Nothing ever grew back. Um, but every few months I'd be like doing my hair in the morning and I would notice, Oh, it's a little further back now. And it's looking a little thinner. Okay. Let me just do a little more, like put this under here, this over that. Um, yeah. and just doing the best I could with it. Um, but it's a huge insecurity in high school. Um, you know, I would, um, do anything I could to get out of photographs. I would hate looking at photos, you know, cause I just couldn't stand seeing it. Um, yeah, I just didn't think it was something any high school should be going through. Um, and so, you know, during that time, I suppose in high school, how old are you then? Like we're talking like 17, 18. Yeah. Or- I mean, it, um, I think it, it became really noticeable 15, 16 about, well, yeah, um, so really so, young. yeah. Mm-hmm. And so did you find yourself like, did you have friends and that that you could talk to, or maybe some people in your family? Were you, did you kind of yeah. be able to say, Hey, like I'm struggling with this, like, or I'm not sure what to do. Or, or did you kind of just try to, you know, sweep it under the, under the rug, so to speak? I mean, my, my parents knew about it and they were kind of doing what they could to support it, you know? Um, but otherwise I was just trying to sweep it under the rug, but I mean, it was clearly visible, you know? Yeah. Um, but I just tried to keep it to myself for the longest time. Um, yeah. And you, you mentioned there, it, 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 you were feeling like, you know, this isn't something that someone in high school should be having to deal yeah. with, right? So I imagine you felt kind of, I suppose that feeling of, oh, what, you know, it's just me who's kind of going through yeah. this. Yeah. Right. Did mm-hmm. you, was it like something you thought about daily? Like, was it really something that just was always kind of in the back of your mind or playing, playing, you know, um, how to say that, like really negatively affecting sort of day to day, just so yeah. you know, you, um, was aware of. Yeah. It was something I was always noticing. Like I'd always think about, Oh, does it look all right right now? Or, if it was like a windy day or something, I'd always be fighting the, you know, blowing it up or, you know. Um, and so I was always just really self-conscious of it, trying to think like, oh, is it really feels like it's shifted a little bit? Is it doing something weird right now? Um, yeah, I was always thinking about it yeah. all the time. And you, you mentioned that, you know, hiding, you know, avoiding photographs and things like that. We've mm-hmm. had channel guys say you know they wouldn't go swimming or they didn't like playing yeah. sports is that something you experienced as well yeah I totally avoided swimming like like the plague um uh I mean mostly you just I'd stay away from water stuff um but otherwise no I didn't really try and hide it anywhere else but uh yeah that was a big thing was water <laughs> yeah. but you you know you've decided now right that you mm-hmm. are you're just gonna okay I'm done with this now like let's just yeah. let's just get it done so talk to me more about how you've sort of come come to that decision like what's sort of giving yeah. you that confidence to go for it yeah um I was originally thinking about doing it before going off to college but then I just kind of chickened out of, from it and I was like okay I'll just I'll stick it out see how long I can keep it you know um and then I just got more and more sick of it and I was like okay next month I'll do it next month and I just kept pushing it back and pushing it back and uh so now I thought finally okay end of this school year maybe and I was like you know Christmas break I'll have a couple weeks to just really just go home have some time to just see what works with um the routine on shaving or whatever let's just set a date for then and just go for it it's been a slow build up especially like you know seeing like my shadow in the wind or something like that you know where I'm like okay this needs to go sometime soon um and then especially since I'm a music major in college, I have to like see and hear myself on recordings a lot. And um, it's really hard to like, you know, analyze performance or something, but especially if you're focused on like, oh my God, that's what I look like. Oh my gosh, um, that needs to go, you know? 
Um, yeah. So I've just kind of finally built up the courage to do it and say, it's going to go for it. it. I get excited for yeah. you now, you know, because mm-hmm. I've done this quite a few times now where, you know, you, you're sat there and you still, you haven't taken that leap yet, but mm-hmm. I how good it feels to just be done with it. You know, yeah. that's it really feels like it's like, oh, thank goodness I'm just, I'm done with this now. Like I can put it mm-hmm. behind and I can move on. And you're actually in a really good position where you've got something like your music, mm-hmm. um, you're in university that you can really focus on. And, yeah. and just what you said there about, you know, you have to see yourself in, in the recordings and things like that. It, and, and I've heard it before, it, you know, it really does take away from the thing you should actually be focusing on, right, which is the music. Yeah. Uh, and I think once you, you do do it and, and you have shaved it off, you're really going to find, like, you know, next time you come to watch a performance back or something like that, mm-hmm. you know, I, I really think you especially will feel that relief, like, wow. Yeah. And actually focus on what I should be focusing on here. Exactly. Yeah. You know, so that's that's exciting for me and obviously exciting for you. Yeah, the more I think about just getting rid of it, I think about I haven't worn a hat or put my hood up since like sixth grade because no matter what I did, it would like mess everything up. Mm. And it's just silly things like that, you know, um, not being able to wear a hat for like years, you know, yeah. it's just it's crazy how much like how many little things it takes up out of my life, you know. Um, and then I'm looking forward to being able to just like, you know, wake up throw some clothes on and just get on with my day rather than, you know, have to like shower and style the hair as best I can, you know? Yeah. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it. 